this video I'm going to take a Duke dog proof trap with just, which just has a standard pull trigger and I'm going to convert it to a, a push pull trigger and convert it from the uh, just the straight flat dog or the straight flat trigger to a rounded trigger uh, and see how just see why I got about two dozen of these dukes I'm going to convert six of them just see how they go and uh, see if I have any better luck so the first thing you got to do there's a rivet that holds the uh, the trigger in place you can either grind that or drill it out and let's see I'm drilling with a 3 16 drill bit what I've had to do that that rivet tends to spin so I'll clamp clamp it in the vise wrong one and then it doesn't take too much and it uh... I need a little bit more There we go. Alright. So we're just going to pull the rest of that out of there. Pull my trigger out. And now these this is a Sudden Valley um, kit, replacement kit. You can get them by the dozen uh, for converting. Really, I think it's most a, a lot of different dog-proof traps. It's got a little twist in it, so you have to put the put the dog in there or the trigger in there sideways, and then give it the twist. And the dog, the way the dog's going to lay. Because you want to keep it, you want to keep the dog in the same position like it currently is. So that dog is going to go over. So you want your, you want your notch in the dog and the notch in your trigger to be on the same side. So that's where I, that's the correct way for my trigger to be inserted. I'm going to put a, it comes with a little bolt and a lock nut. I'm going to put that in there to just hold it in place while I swap the dog out and if you have a grinder you can actually just grind your notch in this dog and and I not have to worry about that but I'm gonna take and I found these these uh, heavy duty S hook pliers to be pretty handy for opening this dog up closing it is a, is a challenge uh, but these things work pretty well they are stout and they work pretty darn well for opening that dog up. So you get it opened up and just slide that thing out the back. That's out of the way. Now, like I said, you want to make sure that your dog is in the same position so it slides. What I'm going to do is slide it um, in from the bottom side with the crook up. So I'm going to slide it in with the crook up. That way that allows me to set the trap and use the use the dog. If you set it backwards the dog will only go so far um, and won't allow you to close that trap or close the, close the springs and set the trap. So then I'm going to take channel locks and this is kind of tricky just because of the limited space from the spring I'm just going to try to grab it any way that I can and start squeezing. I find you've got a large set of channel locks that helps just to give you more leverage. Those dogs are pretty darn stout.
there we go that closed it real quick now I'm gonna test set it to make sure that that worked correctly so now with these dukes I'm finding that it's got the it's got the two notches there but I'm finding it you're supposed to be able to set it where uh, you can set the dog in the notch in the trigger and it kind of be like a safety set but uh, with these dukes that the trigger doesn't go deep enough I'm, I'm having a hard time with so uh, that's not ideal I'd like for it to but it's no big deal but uh, so now what you got you've got the notches and it took me a minute to figure it out but you actually don't use the notches when you're setting the trap if you want it to be a push pull action so you just it's got a got the lip on the bottom side of the notch and you just fit that into the notch on the uh, on the trigger you fit the lip into the notch so you've got the entire top you've got the entire dog notch exposed the dog notch is not fit in anywhere but the the tip of the tip of the dog is fit into the notch of the um, of the trigger and that way if it pushes or pulls either way it's gonna fire so now that's set and how I want it and I got me a just a little piece of wire here just been testing so I'll reach in there and give it a pull and that got it so now I'm gonna put my lock nut on my bolt here and that is, let's see, it's a 3 sixteenths on, let's see, 5 sixteenths on the bolt end, 3 sixteenths on the nut end. And I'm just going to tighten that down to where it's all flush and the, the nylon on the lock nut is actually engaged. And that's all there is to it. My trigger's free flowing. My dog is free flowing and uh, these babies are ready to catch some coons.